Pittsburgh. Now, we've got a special guest for you in the studio today, so you need to take your browser over to supertalk.fm slash watch, because you'll see I have with me Aubrey Armstrong. She is from Oxford, and she was the 2019 Children's Miracle Network champion for Mississippi, and the state champion represents the Children's of Mississippi Hospital, which helps promote the Miracle Network through fundraising and other fun opportunities. Then in 2020, Aubrey, you were selected to be one of the 10 National Children's Miracle Network champions, becoming the first Children's of Mississippi patient to represent patients of Children's Miracle Network. So, so much, Aubrey, but congratulations. Thank you so much. And thank you for finding time in your busy schedule to get down here to Good Things to chat with us. What was it like driving in from Oxford? Oxford is a little town that my whole family lives, and I love Oxford. It is the best um, country for my family to be in. I just love going to Oxford. It's the best town that I love, and it's the best. Well, we know we've got some Ole Miss fans that are appreciating Oxford's getting a little love today because Startful's been kind of taking over all the talk, but for good reason. Um, but you did bring some of your family to good things with you today. Who's with us? Today I have my mom, Holly. She's a nurse practitioner here in Oxford, and she um, works in Oxford, and she's a nurse practitioner at the ER next to the um, the mall, whatever. Um, I have my mom, Holly. And so, Holly, give us a little background, though, for those of us who may know where the Children's of Mississippi is here, centrally located, but what is the Children's Miracle Network? So the Children's Miracle Network is a national nonprofit organization that helps raise money and funds for all children hospitals across the United States. Um, and they do it through various fundraisings with their uh, corporate sponsors like Lowe's Truck Stops or General Mills or Costco. And they're based out of Salt Lake City. And Aubrey and I got to go and see their headquarters a couple of years ago. And it's amazing. It's a, a bunch of great people working for a very good cause. So how do they choose their champions like Aubrey? So it's interesting. Aubrey um, it was like one of 170, I think. Maybe um, there's that many children hospitals in the nation. And they kind of submit a resume on her behalf from the Children's of Mississippi. And she got chosen. <laughs> what was that like, Aubrey? Being a champion for Blair Badson, it was the best day of my life. And I really like it. And it's a great opportunity for for Blair Batson is the best. I really like it there, and I love working at Blair Batson. It is the best hospital, and it's a great social supporter, and it's a great opportunity to work there and help people smile, make every people's happy and making people smile. I just love it. Well, you do a great job of making people smile. I know I have a big one on my face, and anyone who's watching over at supertalk.fm, I know they're smiling too or just listening to you, Aubrey. So what did you get to do as the champion? I know that came in 2019, and then you even got uh, bumped up a little bit in 2020. So what are some fun things you've gotten to do on behalf of Children's of Mississippi? Um, Men have a Blair Batson. It's a great opportunity and I do I'm on the Cheerios box as you know it's at Costco and the champion for the self is that it feels good and I really like it there and I, I, I was a caddy for this guy and his name is Cameron Champ I I was I was his caddy so I took my dad he was there and my daddy was a great golfer and his name is Brad Armstrong. We should we should know that name. He should be on the PGA tour, right? Yeah, he's really good. As I really much as like he plays. Him. As much as he plays. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a real mother. <laughs> um, but Aubrey, you skipped over the cool part, which is the Cheerios box. I want to go back to that because not every kid gets the opportunity to go down the cereal aisle and then see their face on on their favorite morning uh, morning meal. So how did that all come down? Maybe, Miss Holly, you can answer sure. that first. So Aubrey got chosen out of one of the 10 kids that were representing Children's Miracle Network to um, be on packaging for General Mills, and she lucked up, I guess you could say, and got Cheerios. And so, of course, it came out in May of last year during the pandemic. 
Um, Which I think locally our Costco had just opened. It had just opened. And so we had gotten one box when it came out because they released them early for COVID, which is very understandable. But where there was bad, there was good. She actually got to do it two years in a row. Oh, fun. Uh, so not only did she get to do it last year, it was just this past May as well. So we actually stocked up. Okay, Aubrey, where'd you go for the photo shoot? I mean, I'm sure it was a big deal. Did they treat you like a princess? So I, we were at Salt Lake City. We were, yeah. we were at Salt Lake City, and it was awesome. I love taking pictures. I love it. It's a great network, and I really love it. It's amazing. So when you walk down the aisle at Costco, I assume for the first time, and there is your face on a wall of Cheerio boxes, what is that like? Okay, so the first thing that I like is being on the billboard for the town. It's <laughs> Well, it's bigger. (laughs) It's really big because when I see my billboard, I was a little girl. I was like three or four years old. I was um, on a billboard for Blair Bats, and it was a great opportunity to do it. How many boxes of Cheerios did your family buy? We have a lot of it. (laughs) We have it at our in our um living we have it in, in our, our pantry in our pantry and because my dad likes it because daddy eats them all. <laughs> daddy's a hoarder <laughs> <laughs> oh daddy but that's okay did you did you eat the cheerios and just keep the box or some unopened i just want to keep the box and sign it for fans she has she, done that I, I i've been doing that for a couple years so i've been doing it so my mom would help me and see if i to sign something for the my for my fans i i had to do it because because i love you know i love blair batson well how do you feel about your fans when people come up to you aubrey and it's like i've seen your face in the grocery store um my fans likes to watch my youtube channels all the time i think <laughs> i think the people watch one of my uh, youtube channels is much how i, I do makeup on my YouTube, and I watch it on my TV, put it on my phone, and I I really like doing makeup. It's really cool. When did you start doing makeup, Aubrey? First, when I was doing makeup, um, I want to have my own YouTube channel. You were very little. I was, What's I, the name of your YouTube channel? So my name was Aubrey Armstrong <laughs> because real it's a title <laughs> of Aubrey on um, Aubrey. Armstrong, because my daddy will connect it and put it on the internet. It's really, really yeah. cool, and I can see all the close-ups. When Aubrey was the state champion for Blair Batson, she was able to do a lot of stuff locally in Oxford for us, and so she did a lot of stuff for Ole Miss, like coin tosses and walk down the walk of champions and base throughout the first pitch at a baseball game. So we've had it all on video, and that kind of led to her dad, and she – well, all of snippets. those, um, you know, celebrity, um, you know, appearances, Aubrey, you got to know how to do your concealer and your, you know, your makeup, I do, right? I do a little bit of foundation, as you know. Is that your trick? <laughs> um, I don't do a lot of tricks. I just want to put a little bit on because I don't want to watch all my... F- wash my face all the time because I have makeup on. Well, you also don't want to... Natural is best, right? Coming across with that natural look instead of yeah. maybe like a clown. You know how you know who they are when you see them. I, if I see clowns, I would terrify them <laughs> as you can, can, can compare to myself. <laughs> I would terrify my little sister, Ava. She would say, ah! <laughs> you have a little sister, big sister. Yes. Um, and Michael is 19 and Ava, who is 8 years old, Ava is one of my favorite little sisters I love. She is a beautiful sister. I really love her to death. I really love her. Have you taught her how to do makeup? I taught her how to do a little bit of makeup. She doesn't wear like different types she of makeup. She's just not old enough yet? She's not old enough. But And Michael, who is my favorite little, my favorite big sister, she, um, um, well, she did a job interview and she's gonna be working at a dental station for um, uh, Dr. Perkins, one of my dentists, and and Michael will be there. And Daddy's and, still wishing he was on the PGA, right? Yeah, I really love my dad so much. <laughs> I love him. Well, we love your dad, and we love you for all that you do for the Children's of Mississippi. We've got more with Aubrey Armstrong coming up next.
www.ncpbs.org. And you may want to take a trip to Oxford, and you can see celebrity Aubrey Armstrong as she was the 2019 Children's Miracle Network champion for Mississippi. But then in 2020, she was selected to be one of the 10 National Children's Miracle Network champions, and she was the first Children's of Mississippi patient to represent patients of the Children's Miracle Network hospitals at that national level. So you made it national before the dogs made it national, which they still have one more game to complete that title, but go Aubrey. Yes, I I have three dogs. Wait, I have two dogs and one cat. I have Mogi. I have my therapist dog, Delala, and a French bulldog named Zoe. That's close to being a bulldog. So are we rooting for Mississippi State tonight, even though we're from Oxford? No, I think my family <laughs> is a big Ole Miss fan. We love Ole Miss. We want Ole Miss to win. So we are so sorry. We will cheer for all those Mississippi boys. It's just real hard. You know what? She yeah. just she she is just saying what some other Ole Miss fans are thinking. Yeah. We have asked those to put their pictures of their maroon and white online, and we've got a few that have said, "I will root for them, but right. I can't wear it." And it's you know what? Hard. That's okay. It's Aubrey. hard. Say it's hard when we live in Oxford and it's we really go to all the baseball. It's games really with all our so friends. It's so hard. It's so hard to... <laughs> well, you know what's hard for me, Aubrey? What? Your Ole Miss Rebels put out my Golden Eagles from Southern Miss, so you guys beat us. Yeah, I think Ole Miss is my favorite. <laughs> I have... Okay, so I have this guy, and he went to my birthday party a couple weeks ago. Um, his name is John Rice Promley. He came on my Just birthday, <laughs> and so he... He came, Helen Russo surprised me, and I really love him. He, um, I, I saw a birthday video of him. He said, happy birthday, Aubrey. <laughs> well, the girl, you just dropping names left and right. I would say I would stay red and blue, too, if that, if that was the case. Now, Holly, all this, I wouldn't say necessarily got started, but she was a patient there at Children's of Mississippi. But you were also um, a nurse there. So what does yes. it mean for you to see all of this sort of come full circle? It's been really amazing, and just to see how far even the hospital has come. Because when I was there as a PICU nurse in the year 2000, it was very different than it is now. The Sanderson Tower is open now, and it's amazing, and it's just a wonderful facility for the kids in Mississippi. And being a part of Aubrey's life along the way and even moving from Jackson but still getting to come back and go to the hospital that helped train me to be a now 20 year nurse um it's just awesome the people there are awesome my sister is still a nurse practitioner there in the children's cancer clinic and we actually had a visit with our favorite doctor today dr mark reed yeah. and it's just awesome and the, everybody at the hospital has been so supportive of aubrey and everything that she's gotten to do and it's just been it's been a big blessing in our lives when there come across opportunities whether it's events because i know with the whole pandemic the way things got fundraised whether it was for children's of mississippi the sanderson's farm you know a golf tournament went different but i think the mask did did, you know, did great. Sure. So we were having to pivot and do all the things. So when we hear of unique opportunities to support children of Mississippi, how important is it for Mississippians to be on board with it? I'll tell you, I'm not living in the central Mississippi area anymore. It's very important. Um, we get a lot of pull from the Memphis hospitals there, of course, and it's just so important to give back to your community, to your home state, to help take care of the children in your state. Um, it is one of the best institutions in the country for our kids, and we're so fortunate that it's right in our backyard. It's right in our backyard, and Aubrey, you've probably made a lot of friends over at the Children's of Mississippi. Your mom mentioned you had a doctor's appointment today, but I'm sure you won't be shy to tell us who's your favorite doctor there. My favorite doctor is Dr. Mark Reed. He's one of my favorite doctors. He really loves me. He loves all my family, and he loves Aunt Michael. He loves me. He loves Ava, and he just... He's my favorite doctor. I really love him. So when you get to go to the hospital for your checkups and all that, I mean, I know you don't like getting poked and prodded or any of that, but what's some of your best experiences? One of my favorite things on the headphones, I have to say, I have these brand new headphones, and I just got them early for my... What? When you do the listening game, you said oh, yeah, you love I, that hearing I test. I did the listening <laughs> test. I passed. <laughs> Back right. it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're going to hashtag that. <laughs> you better. <laughs> you can have that over at 
<laughs> Aubrey Armstrong on YouTube. You you should hashtag the Smack It Baby and run, uh. and sort of run with it. But it sounds like they make it as fun and comfortable as possible when you have to go in, you know, and just check off those wellness visits and all those checkups that maybe you have to do. Um, you have to do there. So let's talk about Aubrey outside of the hospital. What are your favorite things to do other than makeup? Okay, so for the hospital. Outside of the hospital, what do you do at home? Outside of the hospital is that I like to swim, I like to color, I like um, make arts and crafts, I like to read, I like to color. Ooh, what are you reading? What's on Aubrey's reading list? Um, my favorite book is Princesses, because I love princesses, because I went to Disney World and I saw my favorite princess. And, and who her, is that? Her name is Rapunzel, and I really love her hair. Yes. <laughs> That's a lot of washing, though. Can you imagine? Yeah, she has a lot of luscious hair. <laughs> she has a lot of luscious hair. I know. You must not complain about having to, to brush yours out at night. Mm. I, I don't brush my hair like <laughs> hers, but I brush my own hair just like I have my highlights in and wash my hair. I like to um, wash it, like put conditioner, put shampoo, because I do wash my hair like all week so I can get ready for camp. Oh, we're going to camp. Where are we going? I am going to Abby Rogers. I've been been there since I was a little girl. Um, I've been there since... Um, all my friends and I like to like doing activities there. It's amazing and I really, really love that camp. I'm going next week. You're going is it an overnight camp? It's an overnight camp because all all different kids go to that camp because I go there because they all have special needs. They have right? all special needs. Cute. Right. And I have um uh accounts. You'll have a You'll have a counselor, and this will be uh, your like tenth year. I this think. is my tenth year that's going really cool. to Abbey it's Rogers, in, and it's in Wiggins. Ah, oh, all right. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. You'll get to see all of your friends from that you haven't seen since probably last year. Will you do their makeup? <laughs> I, I might. I'm not gonna bring my makeup. I was gonna bring my own so I can. Do I guess it. you shouldn't share makeup post COVID world. Okay. I, I don't want to get COVID because last week, like a couple weeks ago, my dad had it <laughs> because <laughs> he I, had the vaccine. We should he say he had the vaccine. <laughs> I just want to make his day happy so I can make him like food or soup or something like that. <laughs> I just love my daddy so much. I love you very much, Dad. Well, I know he he he's he can't help but love um, love you back. I'm sure. I mean, you're just a bundle of joy, Aubrey. I can see now why the Children's Miracle Network chose you to be in the top ten, and why Children's of Mississippi is so proud to have you as one of their um, ambassadors as well. When does your reign end, or does it, I don't think it's going to end, but <laughs> when does it or does it end, Miss Holly? So. It is officially supposed to end, I think, in May of next year. Oh, so, okay. So you so got a little bit longer. A one year stint turned into two and a half. Well, that's but okay. But it's been great. It's <laughs> been great. And so, do you, what's left on your celebrity tour? Mm -hmm. Um, celebrity tour is that I never done one. <laughs> we need to do one. <laughs> I want to do a tour about Luke Bryan because <laughs> I never met him because I want to hear him. I love his voice, and my favorite song is Boy Margarita by Luke Bryan. <laughs> well, <laughs> are you old enough to drink a margarita, Aubrey? No, I like the song. The song is called Boy Margarita by Luke Bryan. Because, you should never have two. <laughs> no, but because I listen to him on my phone I really want to meet him so badly because I really, 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 really. Well, he came to, to the him. Brandon Amphitheater here in Mississippi. I want to say two years ago, and I got to see him in concert. So if he gets to come back, you know, if if the if the Amphitheater or Luke Bryan's people are listening to good things, mm -hmm. I can't imagine how that that somehow might could possibly potentially, if you dream hard enough would come true. I think, Aubrey, anything that you desire most, you will probably find a way to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's as cute in person as he is on TV. I, I do like him on TV because I like to take pictures of him. I, I have it on my screensaver. <laughs> I just can't get over him. I just want to meet him. 
Well, we will make that. We will. We won't make that happen. But we will make sure if that happens, we share photos. I want to make sure I don't say something I can't back up either. I'm over here like, girl, I'll call his people. We're gonna get Luke She'll Bryan's. She'll hold you to it. I will hold that compare commitment to Luke Bryan. <laughs> well, we we don't want to let anyone go without also knowing that the Children's of uh, Mississippi Hospital would love any support, and you would be supporting great patients like um, Aubrey and um, her, and her parents. So thank you so much for your time, Aubrey. It's been a pleasure having you, you here you. on, Thank on you Good so Things. Thank you so much. All right. I'm having fun today. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got another um, a couple more stops of fun to have along the way, but you guys stick with us. To Omaha we go.